How to set up a point-to-point -point network with the Trio Q Data Radio. The trainee will be able to create a point-to-point -point radio network using two Trio Q Data Radios for exchanging data over the air with a licensed frequency. The data being transported is protocol agnostic so could therefore be almost any data type. Antenna Connection Bench testing is typically performed over short distances, so RF signals need to be significantly attenuated. Using dummy loads or whip antennas is not recommended. A suitable method for attenuation of RF signals is to use a 4-port RF attenuator, part number TBUR4PORTATTEN. DC Power Connection Ensure each radio is wired using the correct polarity and that power supply is regulated and has adequate current delivering capacity. For other power supply options please refer to the user manual. Apply DC power to the radios. The radio will begin a boot up process. This process can take up to 2 minutes, once the boot up process has completed. PWR LED should be solid green. Establishing communication with the Trio Q data radio. Ensure the Trio Q data radio has been factory cleared. The factory default IP address of the Q data radios is 192.168.2.15. You will need to set the IP of your PC in the same range, for example 192.168.2.10 and default subnet mask. Connect your PC Ethernet port to one of the Ethernet ports. To verify you can communicate with the QR450 you should first ping the radio. Open up a command window on your PC by going to start and type CMD. Then hit enter. Type ping 192.168.2.15 which is the default address of the radio. The radio should respond to the ping. Radio Entry Point Radio Configuration Using a Web User Interface WUI. Start your web browser and insert the IP address of the radio into the URL. In this case, type 192.168.2.15 and the configuration page is now displayed in the browser. Browse to the Network section of the WUI by clicking Set Up Network. Scroll down and enter the following settings IP address 192.168.2.1, subnet mask 255.0.0.0. Browse to the radio section of the WUI by clicking on Set Up and then Radio. Enter the following settings. Channel bandwidth, 12.5 kHz. Transmit frequency, 420 MHz. Transmit power, 30 dB. Receive frequency, 425 MHz. Browse to the security section of the WUI by clicking on setup and then security. Enter the following settings, security, enable, log in name. Schneider, password, electric. For each configuration item, help text is provided on the HTML programmer interface. If you are manually specifying IP addresses, ensure you record them for future reference. You will need to know the IP address of each radio in future steps. After configuration of all items are complete, Activate the configuration by clicking on the Activate Configuration button in the top right corner. Radio Remote Radio Configuration Using a Web User Interface WUI. Connect the Ethernet cable to the second remote Trio Q data radio. Repeat previous steps but with updated settings. Start your web browser and insert the IP address of the radio into the URL. In this case, Type 192.168.2.15 and the configuration page is now displayed in the browser. 
Browse to the network section of the WUI by clicking on Setup and then Network. Scroll down and enter the following settings, IP address, 192.168.2.12, subnet mask, 255.0.0.0. Browse to the radio section of the WUI by clicking on Setup and then Radio. Enter the following settings, Channel Bandwidth, 12.5 kHz, depending on certification, Transmit Frequency, 425 MHz, Transmit Power, 30 dB, Receive Frequency, 420 MHz, Note. The transmit and receive frequencies are now reversed. Browse to the security section of the WUI by clicking on setup and then security. Enter the following settings, security, enable, log in name, Schneider, password electric. After configuration of all items, activate the configuration by clicking on the activate configuration button in the top right corner. Testing the communications. Wait for the Trio Q data radio to restart and navigate to the new IP address, you will need to log in. Browse to the packet transmission test section of the WUI by clicking on Diagnostics and then Packet Transmission Test. Enter the IP address of the entry point radio and set the number of packets to 1000. Hit the start button on top right. Observe the LED patterns on the transmitting and receiving radios. When complete, observe the commissioning record. Note, you can also try to ping the entry point radio via a command prompt. The response times will be longer due to the over-the-air transmissions. Now you know how to set up a point-to-point -point network with the Trio Q data radio. Thank you for watching. For further information please visit www.schneider-electric.com or contact your local Schneider Electric representative.